come spend a weekend with me in Malibu, California, where I got to stay at my friend's beautiful beach house. Recently, I've been trying to get better at spending time alone, and I felt like this would be the perfect vlog to film because my weekend was honestly kind of lonely. I've always been the type of person that loves being surrounded by friends or just people in general and I never knew if that was because I'm just naturally extroverted or if it's because I felt like I couldn't be alone. And honestly, I recently got out of a five-year relationship so it was quite terrifying to be entirely by myself even while doing small things like going to the gym or getting myself some food. But I think this was a lesson I was meant to learn, whether I stayed in that relationship or ended up out of it like I am now. I've found a lot of self-compassion over the years with dealing with body image and disordered eating after modeling, but I don't think I truly felt secure in who I was as a person just yet. And I wonder, does anyone ever feel fully secure in themselves? Does anyone really know who they are? Should we go for a walk? You wanna walk yourself? Okay. Okay, you can walk yourself. <laughs> but I thought I'd share the therapeutic techniques that have helped me with learning how to be alone. The first one being returning to your inner child. I woke up this morning, fed the dogs that I was watching, and then I actually ran with the big one, his name is Chance, on the beach. And it was so much fun before going to a boxing class. I feel like trying new things falls into this category of being a kid again, because when I was younger, I had no fear. I was so open to new experiences. And I think as we get older, we fear that people would judge us for being brand new at something. But in reality, everyone is so welcoming and really just fun and excited to have you there. This is our coach, Lerone, and he has such a fun time. But honestly, part of the journey of becoming more secure in myself was getting out of my comfort zone and trying things that I thought I could be embarrassed by. <laughs> I was running and doing these and going like, wee! <laughs> it was so fun. Anyways, it's so fun showing up, meeting new people. This is us doing conditioning and everyone in this class ended up being so lovely. Oh, you've never had the cloud one? Never. It's so good. That is not what I expected it to taste like. Really? Wait, what did you think it was? I mean, it's really good, but... Whoa. I guess I kind of get what you're saying, actually. Like, I thought it'd be, like, sweeter. Yeah. And, like, more mango-y for some reason. Whoa. I don't know. It tastes like straight coconut. Mm -hmm. Good, though. Mm -hmm. The rest of this day ended up being so peaceful and wholesome. I really wasn't that lonely because I got to spend time with a friend. I met a lot of new people. I hung out with the dogs. We ended up making bracelets later in the afternoon. Here's me showing my little outfit to take the dogs on another little walk. Another thing I'm learning about being alone is how to fill my time in ways I want to. I know that sounds really obvious, but I always would let friends pick the activities we would do, and I always just was a go with the flow kind of person. So I feel like this part is actually more about finding out what I like so that I can set better boundaries. Being spontaneous is something I love about myself, but I'm also learning to protect my peace a little more. In the past, I would pick other people over doing what I wanted or even needed to do. I would put things off, I would procrastinate on my homework. It's one thing to be a fun, kind person, but another to compromise yourself. 
Another thing about being alone is I feel like I have to push myself to do other activities rather than just scroll on my phone or get stuck watching TV. I kind of get it now when people say being alone is really motivating because you are the only one who's going to get yourself out of bed, out of the house, and doing something fun. I drove back to Santa Barbara, picked my brother up from the airport, and we celebrated his birthday by having a couple beers, I painted, and we just hung out, enjoyed the ocean views. I love that I'm taking the time to figure out what Morgan likes. Does Morgan like beer? Does Morgan like painting very often? I don't know, but that's the cool part, is that I get to do what I want, when I want, and I know that I can change at any moment. Pizza time! Yay! I don't think you should add this to your vlog. No. Okay, okay. Yeah, take it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was definitely a short one, but I'll continue to make more videos on how I'm learning to be single and being more comfortable with being alone. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.